What's up guys, Chigs here from Chigs Tech Reviews. So today I got my hands on the brand new AI Power Wearbuds Pro. So this is the sequel, the second generation to last year's Wearbuds. A very interesting concept of smartwatch and earbuds in one. And this new model has some great new features which I can't wait to share with you guys. Now, not only that, I also have two smart fitness watches by Z Blaze. We've got the Neo 3 and the Vibe 3 GPS. And we also get to check out a kind of replica to the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3. You can see even the packaging is the same. So we have a great lineup here to share with you guys. So let's begin with the AI Power Wearbuds Pro. So simple packaging, white box. Envelope containing user manual. And here they are. So I'll place this to the side and see what else we get. So you're getting basically a charger as well. Now on the front we have an LCD display with a screen resolution of 135 by 240 and it is a scratch resistant Gorilla Glass display. Now you do have a whole bunch of sensors built into the watch. So we've got a 7 axis accelerometer, motion, heart, pressure and sleep sensors. Now you've got a complete metal body with a matte finish. Supports magnetic charging, what the charger looks like. So you're simply connecting that up. I'm using a power bank, standard USB, and it takes around one and a half hours to fully charge because not only are you charging the watch, you're also charging the earbuds. So it could take up to 1.5 hours, but the watch will give you up to 10 days of battery life, which is pretty cool. Now, it's also nice to know that the watch is IPX5 water resistant. And this also supports notifications and answering your phone calls. So here are the earbuds, you just pop them out. And if you've paired before, they will instantly pair to your smartphone. Support both Android and iOS. I'll put the watch down for now. So what's new in these earbuds? Well, they support high-res audio with Qualcomm aptX. You have Bluetooth version 5 with a 10 meter operating distance. Each earbud will give you 5.5 hours of non-stop music. And thereafter, the watch will give you an additional 15 hours to charge the earbuds. Now the earbuds are IPX6 water resistant. So the watch IPX5 and the earbuds IPX6. So you do have decent water resistance. I'll quickly show you what these look like in my ear. So sound quality is actually really good. High res audio, APTX, beautiful sound. They've made a huge upgrade to the sound. It sounds amazing, it fits in the ear perfectly. You've got touch control so you can control the music. So tap to pause, double tap to skip, but you can also control the music from your watch. So when you put the earbuds back in, you will see a green light turn on, which means they are immediately charging. And every time you put the earbuds back in after using them, the watch battery will get consumed in order to charge the actual earbuds. Okay, so a quick look at the watch features. If you swipe to the right, you've got your step counter, heart rate sensor, your calories, floors, distance, and you've got your training mode. So if you tap on training, you've got walking, running, and cycling. So let's go back, swipe again. You've got your music control, you've got a timer, and you've got your settings. So quickly go to settings, you've got Bluetooth, true wireless stereo, battery, brightness, info, uh, restart and reset and power off. So I want to go to brightness. So we're actually using 50% brightness. And I'll show you what they look like. That's 100%, 25%, and I'm just going to leave it on 50. So we are now checking out our heart rate. So I just want to run a quick simultaneous heart rate test. Samsung Galaxy Watch 3 on the right and the... Wearbuds Pro on the left. Let's see what happens. 82 on the Galaxy Watch 3. And 82 on the Wearbuds Pro. So it looks like we do have an accurate heart rate sensor, which is definitely a good thing. Now let's just do a bit of a workout. So let's go for a walk. 3, 2, 1. And let's do this in real time, shall we?
So I just went for a walk, altogether 381 steps. And I'll show you my calories, 19 calories burnt, one floor, 0 0.23 kilometer distance. So the fitness feature seems to work pretty well. And if we have a look at the smartphone app, you can see the same information, 381 steps today, distance, floors, calories, and duration, three minutes. And that's been my heart rate, and it times your heart rate every time it checks it. Sleep pattern, not yet done. And over here, you can start a training directly from the smartphone app. And here are your settings. So 44% battery death. You may notice that the battery is draining pretty fast. Now I've actually not charged the watch out of the box. I've just switched it on and started using it. So that's my error. You do need to give the watch a full charge before using it. And the battery life is supposed to last 10 days and it takes 1.5 hours to fully charge. Now I will leave updates in relation to battery life and anything else I learn in the pinned comments. So keep an eye on the pinned comments. Now, quick look at the smartphone app. You've got watch faces. So that's the standard watch face. And this is what you can change to. Incoming call alerts on. So if anybody rings you on your phone, you can answer the call on your watch. Just put your earbuds in and answer the call. You've got your notifications and everything is switched on there. So you can read your WhatsApp messages, your Instagram, um, your WeChat, etc. But you won't be able to reply directly on the watch. And you've got your date and time info and firmware information at the bottom. So fairly straightforward. It does what it says on the tin. That's the most important thing. But it does things a lot better than the previous model. Just the build quality makes a big difference. The previous model used to scratch quite easily. This watch is made completely from a metal watch body, um, finished with a matte finish. So no fingerprints, not easily scratched. And you've got Gorilla Glass protection on the front. Now, battery life, I am going to be testing out thoroughly. So keep your eye on the pinned comments. So there you have it, guys. That was the AI Power Wearbuds Pro. And I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with the build quality, the style, and the design of this new watch. Everything seems to work pretty well. I do need to test that battery life out a bit more thoroughly. And I will give you guys regular updates to battery life and anything else I learn in the pinned comments of this video. So keep an eye on the pinned comments. But so far, so good. Pretty impressive. I'm absolutely loving the quality of the earbuds. I like the fact that they're IPX6, so water resistant. And the sound quality is actually much better than last year's model. Um, they're actually very, very good sound quality with a decent bass. You've got high-res audio with Qualcomm APTX. Decent battery life in the earbuds and the watch. But of course, I will be testing that out further and I'll update you guys in the pinned comments. So AI Power Wearbuds Pro, people. So stay tuned on the channel for more updates on this watch. Let's see what's next. Z-Blaze, Vibe 3 GPS and Neo 3. So Z-Blaze is a company that makes affordable smart fitness watches. And they do go out their way to give you premium features for an affordable price. So these are smart fitness watches. We've got the Vibe 3 GPS and we've got the Neo 3. Let's open them up at the same time. All right. Charger. Watch. And there has to be a band in here somewhere. Now, I'm a fan of watches that have removable bands. I actually think all smart watches should have a removable band. And that is the way forward. It gives the consumer a choice. And a choice is always better than having no choice. So Neo 3, removable bands. So these are 22 millimeter hybrid bands. So what that means is you've got leather on the outside and silicon on the inside, like a T and a soft TPU silicon on the inside. Um, it's a great combination. I absolutely love hybrid straps. So you do have a 1.3 inch IPS display with a screen resolution of 240 by 240. Now this is not a touch screen, so you are gonna be using the buttons to navigate. So you're just pressing the top button to navigate through all your options. You can see you've got quite a few apps. I will go through them with you. So you've got your step counter, your distance, calories burnt, heart rate sensor. You've got your sports mode, your sleep information. So you will get notifications and incoming call alerts, but they will be read only. Now, if we keep going, you can find your phone once you're paired up, music control, remote camera, local weather, stopwatch, and your settings. If you want to select any option, just hit that center 
So what's special about this watch? Well, you've got IP68 certification. Watch case is actually made from plastic. And the watch itself is very light. We're talking about 44 grams with a thickness of only 14.3 millimeters. So that is basically it, a non-touchscreen smartwatch. So this is how it looks on my wrist. I wanna see if screen on hand raise works. So screen on hand raise does actually work. It looks quite nice. You've got these very nice smooth bezels, 1.3 inch display. Uh, don't need to worry about the touch screen. IP68 only works with the buttons. So pretty good. I think we need to do a heart rate test and we'll do a simultaneous one. I've got the Galaxy watch on the other wrist. Let's measure both watches at the same time. Heart rate test. Let's see what we get. 86 and 58, so so totally different score. I will actually do it again, just to give it the benefit of doubt. Here we go. Testing the heart rate, and we measure it again on the Galaxy 3 as well. So second time round, 96, and I put it on a bit tighter this time. And the Galaxy Watch 3, 89. So it looks like the Neo 3 doesn't actually have an accurate heart rate sensor. That is what we've learned in the few minutes that we've used this watch. So that was the Z-Blaze Neo 3. So next up we have the Vibe 3 GPS. Now the beauty of this watch is you actually have a GPS built in, whereas the Neo 3 doesn't have a GPS, it will use your smartphone's GPS. So again, we have a 1.3 inch IPS display with a screen resolution of 240 by 240. Now the watch case is made from carbon metal finished in black. You've got a 24 hour heart rate monitor with sleep tracking and of course built in GPS GLONASS. Now you've got multi sports modes, music control, camera control, alarms, weather and lots more. This watch is IP67 water resistant. So it's good for washing hands and using in the rain, but you can't go swimming with this watch on. The other watch is actually IP68, so you can go swimming with it. Now battery life, you can expect 15 day battery life on basic watch mode. So with GPS off, you can get 15 day battery life. If you use GPS once every day for a workout, then the battery will last you 10 whole days. And if you were to leave GPS on for a major workout session, this watch will give you 235 minutes battery life. Now it actually takes three hours to fully charge this battery. And you've got TPU silicon straps they are removable and they're 24 millimeter straps. Now the watch weighs 56 grams and has a thickness of 15.9 millimeters. So here it is. This is what the watch looks like on the wrist. Quick raise on hand test. So screen on hand raise doesn't work with this watch. You don't have a screen on hand raise. So if you want to see the time, you can't even tap the screen. So if you want to see the time, you have to press a button. Now the touch screen is actually quite responsive. I'm looking for the heart rate sensor as that is something that I like to test straight away in these watches because that is one of the most important features. So both watches are on tight this time. I've made sure of it. 63, 65, 67. Let's see what we get in the Galaxy watch. I'm hoping that this one's going to be accurate. 94, 85, 88, 90. Oh, it's getting there. 92, 90. Close. Close, I, I, I have to say it's quite close. Um, I'm gonna do another test because this is a continuous heart rate. It's not gonna stop. Let's do another test with the Galaxy Watch 3 and see what result we get. 97, 91 on the other one, 92, 91, 89. So we're getting a much higher result on the Galaxy Watch 3. Galaxy Watch 3 is definitely more accurate. So again, the Z-Blaze watches, Affordable smart fitness watches will track your health. Um, not too sure about the accuracy of the heart rate sensors, but it is what it is. Uh, maybe a firmware update could improve that a bit. So let's move on to the next watch, shall we? So next up we have the DT79. I received this watch two, three months ago. It just, it was been lying in the pile behind me. I never got a chance to review it until this happened. Samsung Galaxy Watch 3 released a few weeks ago. Look at that people. We've got exactly the same packaging. I don't even want to say Samsung copied them because this came out first, but look at the packaging, they're identical. Let's open up. Let's open up the packaging, shall we? Of course, the watch is not in there because it's on my wrist. Let's bang the watch there, shall we? 
What do you think? Similar presentation? And the leather straps look very similar to the Galaxy Watch straps. So you can see what's happening here. Now the watch itself is not exactly the same. You can see the time markings are different on both watches and the buttons, although the same design, buttons sticking out, they are different. You know, you've got a rotating bezel on the Samsung. You've got no rotating bezel here. And of course the Samsung build quality and design is miles better. It seems like the DT number one watch found a leak of the Galaxy Watch 3 and they made a watch very quickly to resemble the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3. So let's just switch it on, shall we? So I'm just charging it, it's totally dead. And inside the box, you will find a spare TPU silicone wrist strap, which is quite convenient and your user manual. Galaxy Watch 3 can go back on my wrist. The similarities end there. I think it was a case of copy the wrist strap, copy the watch packaging, and try your best to copy the watch case. So quick side by side. So 1.3 inch IPS display with a screen resolution of 360 by 360. So a pretty good screen resolution compared to all the other watches we've seen so far. Watch case is made completely from metal and it's finished in black. It actually feels like a premium watch. It doesn't feel cheap at all. Now you've got a 24 hour heart rate sensor, ECG, SpO2 and sleep monitoring and lots, lots more. You've got multiple sports modes, music control, camera control, alarm, weather and the list goes on. Now this watch also supports Bluetooth phone calls, which is a rare feature. You can answer calls on the watch and you've got IP67 water resistance. So it's good for rain and washing hands, but don't go swimming with it. It's not completely waterproof. Now you will get notification and incoming call alerts. And of course, as I mentioned already, you've got Bluetooth phone calls as well. Battery life, 20 days standby, four days normal use, and it takes three hours to fully charge this watch up. Now you've got hybrid wrist straps, and I've always said I love hybrid wrist straps. So leather on the outside and silicone on the inside. Now the Galaxy Watch comes with genuine leather straps. Um, so if your hands get wet, it's not very comfortable. You don't get a good feeling. It's not breathable. So leather straps are not ideal if you're gonna go swimming or if you're gonna get your hands wet. Whereas these are, um, these are actually 22 millimeters. They're the same bands used on the Galaxy Watch. So when this video finishes, I think I'm gonna swap the bands and see how I feel. Now you've got a 45 millimeter diameter with a thickness of 13.5 millimeters and weighs only 54 grams. All right, so I've got the watch on my wrist. I've got a wrist circumference of seven inches and to get a tight fit, I always have to go all the way to the last hole. So hopefully that gives you an idea of size. Now let's do a heart rate test. That's the first thing I would like to do is a heart rate test. So where are you? So I'm just running a simultaneous heart rate test. We've got the Doctor number one on the left and we've got the Galaxy Watch 3 on the right. Let's see what result we get. Measuring failed. Let's try again. So hit start. Galaxy Watch 3. So we're running a simultaneous heart rate test on both watches. So Galaxy Watch is on the right. Let's see what result we get. So 95 beats per minute on the Galaxy Watch. So measuring has failed on the other watch. I've got no idea why. Um, let's quickly try the ECG. Keep your finger on the bezel. So it doesn't look like things are actually working on this watch. So this is the smartphone app. I'll tell you what it's called. It's called Fundu. And you've got your step counter, calories and distance. Looking for something that says heart rate, but I'm not seeing it. ECG detection. I'm going to touch the bezel, which I was doing. So there's actually no information on your heart rate. You can analyze your sleep and your steps, and that's pretty much it. We still haven't got an ECG result. We haven't got a heart rate result either. So it's making me think that many functions are not yet operational. Blood oxygen. Let's try we know that the Galaxy Watch has a blood oxygen as well. So let's measure both at the same time. So Galaxy Watch 97% and 90 beats per minute. This one is consistently 0%. None of the important functions are actually working on this number one watch. Quickly remind you the model number. It's the DT number one model number DT79.
So yeah, no functions are working on this watch. It's supposed to be a replica of the Galaxy Watch 3. Definitely not a good purchase at this rate. So there you have it, guys. That was my first look overview of four affordable smartwatches. First look overview completed. Let me know what you guys think of each. As proven in this video, you can learn a lot about a device in just the first look overviews. So all watches had their strong and weak points. Some of them were weaker than they should have been and firmware updates can resolve some of the issues that we encountered. The best from the bunch has to be the Wear Buds Pro. I really enjoyed testing and using the smartwatch. Now, my next steps with this watch is gonna to be to wear it for a few days, charge it up fully first of all, wear it for a few days and give it a full test. Um, the sound quality of the earbuds blew my mind. Um, you've got high res audio support with Qualcomm aptX, Bluetooth version five. Um, it's great for a standalone fitness tracker. You've got your fitness tracking and your music all in one. And they've made huge improvements in the overall design and durability. Absolutely amazing price for this device. If I didn't have one in my hands, I would be placing my order right now. I'm always trying to bring you different content to keep you guys entertained and informed. And I do hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it useful. Now, as mentioned earlier, I will leave updates in the pinned comments. So if any of these watches improve with firmware updates, I will certainly update you guys. So that concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have an amazing day. I'll see you guys in the next one.